What's going on guys? My name is Kyle Welcher, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, and we just finished up fishing down there on Eufaula, and then we came back the next week and fished two BFLs on Eufaula as well. Never fished that lake much in June. You know, uh, people were saying that I was a local. I, I'm not really, I'm not far from Eufaula, but I've never fished there much in June. I don't fish there much at all anyways. But anyways, today we're doing another True Series video, and what the True Series is, I take you inside my boat and show you exactly what I keep in my boat to go from Florida all the way up to New York and catch bass and I'm gonna show you the truth about what I use and how I use it. So today we're talking about some of my favorite things to use and some of my favorite things to get brand new. There's nothing better than getting a brand new box full of fishing reels. And all my fishing reels that I use are Shimano. You know, I use the Cronarch, the Corrado, the Stratic, stuff like that, stuff in that price range. But all these reels come from Summerlin Outdoors, every single one of these. They're a local tackle store that gets all the Shimanos in first and they have the most around here. So that's where I shop for Shimanos. But anyways, we're gonna talk about these bad boys today. Everything from spinning rods all the way up to my frog and flipping rods. So let's start off with this dude right here. This is my drop shot rod. You know, it, my normal concept is anything that I'm working with the rod, I use as fast a gear ratio as I possibly can. So a jig, a worm, a frog, anything that the action comes from the rod and then you're reeling up slack, I use an eight to one bait caster or as fast as I can as far as the spinning rod goes. So this right here is a Shimano Stratic 2500 HG. This is the new one. I think it's called the FL series. Extremely, extremely smooth. I absolutely love this reel. And like I said right now, this is my six foot nine drop shot point blank that I'm using right here. And I impart all the action onto this bait with the rod. Therefore, I'm gonna use as fast a gear ratio reel as I possibly can. And this is the HG series Stratic. So, absolutely love this thing i have three of these reels plus a shimano stratic ci4 in the same gear ratio so that's what i'm using and i use as fast a gear ratio as i can for spin rides because i'm usually finessing and dragging something so put that sucker over there spin reels are down done talking about those now i guess we'll start at the bottom end of the spectrum five to one gear ratios i don't use these very often i usually use them in very very cold water because it helps me slow down but I do keep a DT6 tied on on a five to one in my rod box at all times because it does help me go super, super slow and slow down some. But the problem is whenever you bounce off a rock and a fish bites it, it's really difficult to catch up to that fish. So five to one gear ratio reels, I usually keep two or three of them and I usually keep a crankbait tied on them and very small fluorocarbon. Like this right here is 10 pound fluorocarbon on a seven foot cranking rod and I got a DT6 on it. I can absolutely bomb this thing because the 200 size reel got a very wide spool, a very heavy spool. And what that means is whenever you're casting, that spool is gonna get real heavy and it's gonna spin for a long, long time. And you can make a super long cast with a heavy spool. Now it's harder for skipping with a heavy spool. That's why I wanna use some of the Cronarch MGLs with a very light spool for skipping. But for bomb casting, a big reel with a big heavy spool, you can absolutely launch that thing. And that's what I can do right here with this 10 pound test on this 200 G5 Shimano Corrado. So that's over with. Now here's my absolute baby. I love this reel, had this reel forever. This is the Shimano Corrado 50E. This is a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio. I've got two or three of these, and I throw everything on these. Everything from a crankbait. I don't throw anything fast on it, but I throw crankbaits on it. I'll even throw a weightless worm on it, stuff like that. But for the most part, this is my cranking and chatterbait rod reel. I absolutely love this thing. Now, it's super small, and you can see the spool is a lot narrower than the last reel was. I keep 10 to 12 pound line on this, unless I'm throwing a chatterbait, then I'll go to 15 to 18. But for the most part, I'm gonna keep 10 to 12 pound line on this, and I'm gonna be launching these little bitty crankbaits. So, this reel is smaller and it's a lot lighter so i can make a lot better accurate cast without bird nesting and even if i need to skip something around like a chatterbait this reel is an absolute dream for that right there so another reel that i use that's in the same category as shimano core 50 i use the exact same it's like the exact same size it's just a little bit faster being a 7 to 1 than a 6.4 to 1 and i'll use them kind of interchange them i'll use that you know the core for cranking and chatterbait stuff like that and i'll also use this one my absolute baby i usually from now i keep a crankbait on it about this size or a dt6 like that and that is it 6.4 to 1 only keep a few of those keep a handful of those in that speed and i keep those tied up with moving baits at all times now let's go on up now this is a misused reel right here i don't even know why i have this jig on here i really have no idea but this is a seven foot I, i'm talking about the rod this is a seven gear ratio reel 7.0 to 1 hg shimano cronarch mgl it's a very good skipping reel the mgl means it's a magnum light spool that means the spool is lighter than average and whenever you're casting it's going to be easier to pinpoint where this where this bait goes because the spool is so light it's not going to overturn and give you a bird nest so a very light spool is very important when making short 
accurate cast. So this is the Shimano Cronart MGL, like I said, 7 in 1. This is going to be the reel I'm using most of the time for chatterbaits, spinnerbaits. You know, if I'm going to throw like big square bills, I'll throw a 7 to 1 with a, a little bit heavier rod and stuff like that. But for moving baits, chatterbait, square bill, even a buzz bait sometimes, I'll go with the 7 to 1 gear ratio. I only keep a few of these. I keep, you know, three maybe of these in my boat at all times of the 7 to 1. And that's what I use them for, chatterbait, spinnerbait, stuff like that. Now, now we're getting into the absolute bulk of the reels that I keep. I keep so many of this gear ratio reel in my boat, it's unreal. This is an 8 to 1 gear ratio. These are the XGs from Shimano. This right here is a Cronarch MGL. This is a Corrado 70 XG. And both of these are the XG, like I said, 8 to 1 gear ratio. And like I said, anything like a worm that I'm moving with the rod and reeling up slack, I'm going to use an 8 to 1. A frog, I'm moving the frog with the rod and then reeling up the slack, I'm going to use an 8 to 1. So that's what I use. And I use the Shimano Corrado 70 for a frog because this thing has a spool that's a little bit heavier. But whenever you apply a lot of pressure, a you know create a lot of torque on your cast this uh, reel is so fast it's unbelievable like i can skip under a bush and almost never touch the water i can throw this thing so fast with a seven foot six heavy point blank so that's what i do a lot is i use the shimano corrado 70 because the spool feels way faster this reel right here the chronarch mgl is extremely extremely smooth and i love this reel i just can't get it to throw quite as fast as i can this reel so this is the one i'm stuck with frogging and like i said eight to ones for almost everything else Buzz baits, jigs, worms, everything you could think of that you work with the rod, grab you an eight to one. That's what I keep in my boat, guys. I keep about 15 or 20 of these, and then like I said, five of all the rest of them or so. So that's what I keep in my boat. That's what we're going fishing with right now, actually. So hit that subscribe button. We're about to go throw a frog around. If y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment what you want me to do a true series on next. I'm running out of ideas. I'm not creative. I just catch bass. So let me know. I will see y'all later.